I have a great news for Galaxy S24 Ultra users experiencing display and camera issues. Responding to these concerns, the South Korean brand has now confirmed that an update is on the way to address these issues. The update will be available for all models, the S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra, and is scheduled to be rolled out later this month. Samsung emphasizes its dedication to listening to its users, and the forthcoming update reflects their feedback. The company's goal is to deliver an improved experience and options concerning the device's display and camera. This enhancement will be achieved through integrated hardware and software efforts. Samsung has announced that it will be adjusting the default screen setting to offer a more natural viewing experience. Additionally, the upcoming update will introduce a vividness option in the advanced settings of the display. Presently, the current software version does not include a specific slider for this feature. However, the forthcoming update will introduce a slider with three-step options. This will allow users who prefer a more vibrant visual experience to adjust the vividness slider according to their preferences on the Galaxy S24 devices. In addition to addressing the display issues, Samsung is also tackling camera-related concerns raised by users. While not providing specific details, the company is improving and optimizing essential camera functions. These enhancements encompass upgrades to zoom capabilities, portrait mode, night photography, rear camera video shooting capabilities, and other features. Now, when this update will be released, as we can see, according to Samsung, updates will begin rolling out in February. No any specific date mentioned here. According to a Twitter user, I got good news for S24 Ultra users. S24 Ultra display issues and camera issues update. The Galaxy S24 Ultra update is huge. A 1 gig security patch followed by a hopping 4.5 gigs camera enhancement update. It means Samsung is almost ready for rolling out a massive update to address these concerns. The update includes two parts, a 1 gig security patch and a hefty 4.5 gigs update aimed at enhancing the camera performance. This means significant improvements are on the way for your device's display and camera functionalities. Keep an eye out for these updates coming soon from Samsung. Recently, Ice Universe also said the new firmware of Samsung Galaxy S24 series will be released after the Spring Festival in China. I think it will take about 10 days. This update will bring better cameras. One thing is noticing here, according to Ice Universe, this update will bring better cameras. He didn't talk about other issues like screen, battery, and performance issues. According to Ice Universe, the next version of Galaxy S24 series will solve the problem that the vivid screen mode is not vivid. Add the vividness option and you can adjust the vividness of the third gear by yourself. The default is S24's current vividness, so people who are satisfied with the color of the S24 screen don't have to worry. If you raise the vividness by one notch, you will get a color similar to S23 Ultra, and if you raise it by two notches, you'll get a bright color similar to S21 Ultra Dot and the Now, you can buy Galaxy S24 with confidence. Just wait for the update. Almost a perfect solution. Now a new leak suggests Samsung might let users control how vivid they want the colors to be with a slider. This could be a good compromise, giving users more options while keeping Samsung's intended look. We'll have to wait for Samsung to confirm or deny this, but the source of the leak is usually reliable. But according to this new information, we are going to see two updates, one for security patches and one for the camera enhancement. For those who've been waiting anxiously, cheer up. An update is on its way very soon. Don't lose hope, hood news is just around the corner. Many users are reporting Android auto connection issues along with Bluetooth bugs that seem to persist from previous Samsung phones. Bluetooth audio frequently disconnects from Galaxy Buds Pro and Buds Live and reconnecting to the Galaxy Watch takes over 10 minutes. Additionally, there's a bug causing overall sound to be quieter than on the older Galaxy S23 with an inconsistent equalizer. Some comments on the forum discussing these issues are allegedly being deleted by Samsung. Users hope for prompt acknowledgement and fixes to these problems. Many Galaxy S24 users are sharing their experiences in the comment sections of my recent videos. Let's check out. At the prominent TV reported that their Galaxy S24 Ultra overheats when taking pictures. At Deep Matharu mentioned panel gap issues with their device, noting that the frame is not perfectly wrapped around the display, causing disappointment compared to their iPhone 15 Pro. At Jimmy questioned whether issues like overheating occur immediately after purchase or develop over time sharing that they haven't experienced any issues except for display color concerns within their two weeks of owning the device. At Venus Enterprises highlighted a significant camera issue with their recently purchased Galaxy S24 Ultra. 
They describe experiencing image shift problems and a barn door-like transition in the camera viewfinder when switching between zoom lenses. Despite their attempts to replicate the issue in Samsung Store devices, they were unsuccessful, leading them to believe it's a hardware problem. They expressed frustration over the phone heating up quickly and demanded a replacement from Samsung or threatened to file a consumer court case. They emphasized their disappointment as a loyal Samsung user, expecting higher performance and reliability from flagship devices. Had Abhijit Singh mentioned that the always-on display is not working. A Cameron Joseph shared an experience with the new Galaxy S24 Ultra, citing concerns about the battery and 25-watt wall charger heating up during data transfer from the S23 Ultra. Samsung customer service suggested a return for a refund, highlighting a lack of prior mentions of such issues in YouTube videos. At Robert Polak described a problem with drawing continuous lines using the S Pen on the screen, where certain zones result in broken lines. They plan to test if the issue persists after applying a screen protector. At the Handsome Dog Music reported that the object eraser is not functioning correctly on the S24 Ultra, leaving artifacts and blurry images after erasing. This was not an issue with the S23 Ultra. At Prabhu expressed dissatisfaction with a faded display and low-light camera problems. Despite hours of communication with Samsung Service Center and customer support, there's no resolution yet. Returning the S24 is challenging in India, and it seems like they may receive a replacement instead. These user comments highlight concerns ranging from display and camera issues to problems with specific features like the object eraser and always-on display. Now, if you have the new Galaxy S24 Ultra and facing any of the new bug or issue, let me know in the comment section. A few years back, the Galaxy S20 series had a known problem called the green line display issue. It was also seen on other Samsung devices. Now, four years later, a similar problem has appeared with Samsung's newest top-of-the-line phone, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. People who have the S24 Ultra say they see a thin green line going down the phone screen. Sometimes, there's also a thin white line going across the screen. Many users share their frustration about these lines on the Samsung community forum. They mention seeing these lines while doing things like watching YouTube videos or when the phone starts up. Even after trying to fix the problem by restarting the phone and resetting it to factory settings, the issue didn't get fixed. This is similar to what happened with other phones. People asked for help from Samsung Care, thinking there might be a problem when the phone was made. Samsung admitted there was an issue but didn't replace the phone with a new one. They told the user to return the phone and buy it again, which meant losing any discounts they got for pre-ordering. People who were upset with their phones were told by Samsung to complain to T-Mobile. The reason is that the phone was bought on Samsung.com but only works with T-Mobile. Samsung sent T-Mobile is responsible because the phone was paid for through them. However, if the warranty from Samsung covers the issue, then Samsung should take care of it. The fact that Samsung hasn't quickly responded to the problem or to what users are worried about is concerning for those who got the Galaxy S24 Ultra early. Samsung hasn't officially talked about it. People are worried about how good the phone is and if the customer service will help. Even though not many people seem to have the problem, Samsung needs to look into it more, talk openly about it, and make users feel sure about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're not sure if this issue will be a problem for many phones or just a few with defects. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.